What's up, Fish Tank TV? This is Bowler Fish Tank, and uh, today I'm going to bring you um, another Guppy project, um, which is number two. And uh, basically, I want to talk about what I just got. So um, I'm going to start with the first thing here, which is my new cherry shrimp. I have been dying to find these guys. Um, so I found them um, about, oh, that is like an hour drive away from where I live. Um, and uh, I've been transporting these guys for five hours because we was uh, was at my brother's house so um, there's only one shrimp that died and it was like a really really tiny one now let me see if I can focus on that guy don't think I can because it's very hard to focus in this ball but you can see they're all healthy they're doing really great um, and uh, they're just going to chill in here so um uh, I'm going to breed those two, um, and there was originally ten in here, but now there's nine, and um, they just seem to do pretty well. And as long as I can see, there's about um, five females and four males, so that should be plenty um, for now. Um, they are very small, so I guess they wouldn't. Um, um, I don't know if the guppy female would eat them. I don't think uh, she does because they don't really show an interest in them. They're just looking at them, um, not biting in the uh, in the bag. Um, so that is go a good sign. Um, but I also got some other stuff, which I'm going to show you now. All right. So what I got was um, a breeder box, and um, it looks really good. And the shrimp are in now, and they're doing great. Now let me just see if I can find some. There's one sitting there. Um, one sitting there, there's just a bunch of them in here. Um, so I locked my female, my major female, into this box because she was beginning to actually nip the cherry shrimp. So I was really, really quick to actually catch her before she uh, could um, touch any. She did bite in one, but it didn't seem to have any damages because um, it just swam further on and hid in the plants. So, um, yeah. And there's another one right there, but all the other gobbies doesn't seem to mind it though. They uh, don't even try to, um, you know, eat them. And then we got a little bit of cabomber here that is covering there. And I got a lot of a little bit of new plants in the planet tank. I'm going to leave her in that breeding box for tomorrow. Um, and it's midnight right now, so she's not going to be there in too long a time. So she should survive. Um, and uh, then I'm gonna move her to the big tank, and uh, yeah, so then I'm gonna keep the fry in here. So, uh, oh wow, what's happening there? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope that is going to go great. Um, and uh, she's going to breed with the other males as well. I'm gonna try to keep her not too stressed because soon she's actually going to, um, you know, give uh, the babies a new life. So, she's going to release her babies soon, and um, that is going to be great. Um, so in about a week or so, she's ready, I think. So that's great. Can't wait to see that happen. So um, yeah, that is what's happening at the moment. Um, and um, yeah, the shrimp are typically on the uh, the moss. Um, I have seen some of them going over there. You can also see some right there. They're actually doing really well. Uh, directly when I put them in they started grazing um, which is a good sign uh, you can also see some from the top here down there somewhere you can see one um, little gobby fry so that's great um, you can see they don't even um, bite them the other gobbies so yeah um, I hope this is going to turn out right, well so it's morning now and it's a quick little update that comes up here and um, the shrimp are doing great. I moved the big, um, um, the big gobby or in the other aquarium, where I'm going to have her in the breeding box, where I'm sometimes going to put a male in, um, to you know fertilize her, and um, maybe I'm I can be, um, you know, um, lucky to get some really good gobby fry soon. Um, I'm at the moment acclimating her to the tank, as you can see over there. Um, and uh, I put some new plants in, some uh, Cabomba, uh, Carolinia or something like that I think it's called. Um, and uh, the shrimp love it um, and the gobbies are just swimming a little bit around in it. It's kind of weird because my gobbies are sometimes nipping the shrimp 
but they don't seem to mind it, they don't even move and typically if they think it hurt they like make a little jump like a little shrimp jump and uh, swim away but apparently they don't do that, you can see there's one grazing on the mouse right there oh god dang it, I can't focus completely good on that one and then there are some few ones there one that is up there and some that are sitting here somewhere so all nine are still alive um, which I'm very happy for um, and I'm also going to um, breed these together with the gubbies but we'll see how it goes with uh, the aggression between the gubbies and the shrimp because um, I'm not sure what is going to happen um, but luckily there is actually a little bit of um, snails in this kabamba um, some, some snails on my cooler lodge creeps feed on which is really great so everything is good so um, yeah see you guys in another video